Uh, greetings students, this is Advocate Sokone again. Let us continue with our lesson on the constitutional law uh, tuition, right? Uh, uh, going back a little bit, just to remind you or recap, um, we know that um, when the constitution uh, was um, deliberated, around there was something called okay. uh, on the other on the other note it is also very important for a student to remember that before this constitution came to place there was something called CODESA where different political parties uh, assembled at um, at the uh, 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 trade center in uh, in the uh, in the uh, Kempton Park, where discussions were made around paving a way to the present democracy. Right. One of the things that uh, were were agreed upon on this day was the formation of something called the Constitutional Assembly. How was it formed? It was formed by the Senate. You must remember those days we didn't have the Council of, of, of Provinces. We had something called the Senate and the National Assembly. They came together and formed what was called the, the Constitutional Assembly. Here uh, there were people who were lawyers by profession who had to come together and constitute what was then known as the interim constitution, which, com which comprised of 20, 33 constitutional principles, right? So these, this uh, 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 interim constitution came about through an act of parliament, which was uh, Act 200 of 1993. You must remember at that time, there was no uh, 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 democracy or democracy in Saudi it was still you know the apartheid government of Borda and uh, and the Clark. Okay. Now, um, then uh, 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 during this uh, these uh, 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 talks of this new uh, constitution, which was ultimately called the new text, because it was the interim constitution. And the new text. The new text is the is the current constitution, as we as we see it today. Now, now we need to know how did it come about that we we, we then left the interim constitution and adopted the the new text. This is what exactly happened. Um, we must remember that. Uh, in, in 1994, one of the things that happened was that a new president of the Constitutional Court came about and the, the very first president of the Constitutional Court was a, a man called Arthur Chakrasin, who was the first president of the Constitutional Court, right? And he was also in charge of certifying the, 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 the new text, the new constitution, because um, something which has never had never been done before, uh, the constitutional assembly members decided that once the the final draft of the constitution has been made, it has to be taken to a court so that it can be certified. And it was certified by none other than Justice Chakrasin. Right. So we're here of the first certification, the second certification. Um, these certifications were only about making sure that the modification of the 33 principles was done in such a way that all the participants or all the members of the society were satisfied with the, the 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 finished version of our of our constitution so that is why it had to be taken for 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 this certification 
in order to be tested by a court of law whether it um, conforms to all the requirements of a constitution. And you must remember our constitution is said is, is said to be the best in the world because it was it it has uh, uh, clauses from a constitution in Australia, Canada, uh, and all over the world. All the progressive constitutions are contained in our constitution, including including the ch chapter two. Chapter two, which deals with the Bill of Rights, and the Bill of Rights, we all we all know that it came from the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights. So it was derived from that. Hence, it is regarded as the best in the world. But um, there were uh, sort of challenges that um, the court had to to rule over uh, people complaining about what was contained in the final constitution. So it had to be taken to court for certification. That is why it is important for any law student who does constitutional law to study the first certification and the second certification in order to, to apprehend or to grasp or to understand as to what was the need for all these certifications. Right, okay, fast forward. Now let us uh, now let us deal with the commencement of the, the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa in 1996, uh, um, uh, which commenced. It was actually as, assented to by the president in 1996, but it only commenced on the 4th of February 1997. That is very important for for uh, for everyone to understand right and um, and that at that time um the at that time when 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 we uh, uh, when uh, when this happened the constitutional court consisted of somebody was called the president of the court and a deputy president of the court with nine judges that is how it started. This was um, is provided for in, in uh, at section one sixty seven, uh, subsection one of the of the constitution, right? And then the, the, there's also section one six eight, subsection one, which provided that the Supreme Court of Appeal will then consist of the. Uh, 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 chief Justice and Deputy Chief Justice and the number of judges at the appeal uh, uh, Supreme Court of Appeal um, uh, 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 had to be determined by an act of parliament so the, it's supposed to be an act of parliament that will de 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 uh, where, where that will be uh, that will determine how many judges we will have in the in the court of Supreme Court of Appeal, right? And so we will all remember that um, um, Arthur Chakalson was the president of the Constitutional Court from 1994 until the 20th of November 2001. So that is very important to remember for any law student, right? very important remember the word president he was the president remember that today we call the head of the constitutional court a chief justice but it was not the case in 90 from 1994 up to 2001 on the 20th of november okay now as from the 21st of november 2001 the title of the president of the constitutional of court was then changed to that of Chief Justice. Very important to know that. And the President of the Supreme Court of, of, of um, uh, 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 the, the, the word President was then transferred to the Supreme Court of Appeal. Instead of saying Justice, like, like I have said before, now the, the person in charge of the Supreme Court of Appeal would be called the president of the Supreme Court of Appeal. This is the same thing with the, with the high courts. In high court, 
Peter Morrisburg, we know that currently the judge president is uh, Mrs. Um, Poyo Luati, right? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Poyo Luati. Okay, now let us continue with, um, with, uh, with the Constitution. Now we've said it was the Constitutional Assembly that came together and and uh, gave us what we have today as the new text, which is the, which is the Constitution, right? It's also important to remember that uh, on the 27th of June, 2005, something happened. And that was another law that came into existence, which was called the Citation of the Constitutional Laws Act number five of two thousand five. It, it 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 commenced on the twenty seventh of June two thousand five, right? So it is important for us to also note that there were dramatic changes to the jurisdiction of the Constitutional Court as well. So we will we will deal with those hereafter before we go to uh, too many minutes, because I want to make this uh, at least 12 minutes, not, not more than 12 minutes.